The release schedule for January is as slim as ever, so let's just jump straight into the biggest release of the month, Monster Hunter World. Now my personal history with this series has been odd. I picked up the original game on the PS2 as an impulse purchase. I like giant monsters, the box had a giant monster. So I had no idea what to expect in terms of gameplay at least. Sadly though, I couldn't get past the controls. Attacking with the analog stick and having no direct camera control was frustrating, and I was too stubborn to adapt to it. Years later, with the release of Monster Hunter Try on Wii, I gave it another shot. I had a friend joining in co-op, and it was great fun initially as we crafted our loadouts to complement each other, deciding on strategies with our items, tracking the creatures... And then the grind started. It was at about the 9 hour mark when I realised I really hadn't been enjoying myself for quite some time, and had nothing to do but tick errands off a checklist to gear myself up. I was fatigued before ultimately just giving up. And along comes Monster Hunter World. I managed to play some of the beta, which did impress me, I'll admit, but that made me more suspicious than anything. I realised that there was a reason that the beta had these specific quests, and it was for that reason to make a good first impression with little of the grind. By this point, I've simply had to admit that this series just isn't for me, despite the desire to get into it. With that said, Worlds has been getting stellar reviews, and I'm glad for the fans, if anything. These games require one hell of a time investment, and it's good to see, from what I've read, that that time is paying off for those who are patient enough for this series. Quick question, do you like Metroid? Good. Axiom Verge had a physical release this month. Now this is the part in which I would go into detail about what Axiom Verge is exactly, but I wasn't joking a second ago. It is just Metroid. But that isn't me decrying it. The game was developed by just one person, Thomas Happ, who is a self-proclaimed Metroid fan, and though it may seem a bit indulgent, it also translates to a real passion. I haven't had an extended experience with the Metroid series, yet Axiom Verge is fortunately compelling enough on its own terms that I would highly suggest picking it up. And finally we have The Inpatient, developed by Supermassive Games, who you might know as those people that What Did made Until Dawn. Now, I was a huge fan of Until Dawn. We've all been there, watching a slasher film, shouting don't go in there, as we question the logic behind one of the character's stupid decisions. Until Dawn is the answer to that, by putting you in control. Turns out those characters make those stupid decisions because we are genuinely curious as to what made that noise. The Inpatient is something of a prequel to Until Dawn being set 60 years prior. The issue though is that The Inpatient seems to be hamstrung by it being a VR title. For one, the player character has amnesia and must answer questions to determine their past. Obviously the intent is to allow the player to become fully engulfed in this environment by having them assume their character's history. The issue though... Well, it's another horror game featuring a protagonist with amnesia. This isn't the only issue, but it's the one that fully encapsulates the failings of the impatient. Until Dawn succeeded at using player choice as a means to rethink and recontextualize the cliches of the slasher genre. The impatient, though, kind of falls into the cliches and mundanities of recent horror games. That said, VR is still very much in its early phase. I think that it'll be a while before a specific standard of quality is reached. The Impatient isn't an awful VR experience, but it does make for a very unremarkable game. You understand I want what's best for you. Fortunately, the releases seem to pick up in February, but frankly, there is one game in particular that I'm waiting for. As trite and overdramatic as it might sound, the original game changed my life. I've played it more times than I can count, and I cannot wait to start the adventure and endure the guilt all over again. Monster Hunter. 